Hey guys, X Cali here, and on today's topic, I'm gonna talk about something really important that you all upcoming esports players or you know regular competitive players should keep that in mind and things that you should not do. I mean the things you should keep in mind before playing any competitive game, say it Valorant, CS:GO, Apex Legends, PUBG, whatever, whatever comes in your mind, whatever you play. So the first thing that I would like to keep uh, keep in place is the warm up. So basically any sports take football any indoor sports say chess or carrom anything every player has a mindset which needs to be warmed up right so you need to warm up pretty good you know you need to make sure that you have your basic softwares or anything which will help you get your gaming uh, flow in you know something like aim labs kovax these uh, softwares are present in the market like steam or anywhere i guess um, aim labs is pretty free right now so you can try it out Uh, so or suppose you are playing valorant you have the range in it so you can go and practice so take your time take like 15 or 30 minutes you know get your aim correct get your strafing correct whatever techniques which you need to master in order to do those basic uh, gameplay in competitive scene you need to make sure you do that without warm up your body is basically not ready to react to certain situations like someone pops up in your screen and you need to shoot them when you're warmed up you react immediately so do not start any of your games without doing warm up so for the second one i would like to say is uh, conditioning so what do you mean by conditioning so um, back then in my days when i used to play a football a lot after warm up we used to take a bit of you know uh, glucon d or something or have a, a bite of apple or any fruit so basically what happens is when you uh, do warm up and stuff your body starts to you know start taking all the necessary stuff it needs to function and similarly when you're playing games like uh, valorant or cs or anything after you warm up you need to think constantly and you know if you <laughs> don't believe when you think a lot without empty stomach you will tend to you know do things which are not supposed to you might whiff a lot or something i mean this might sound very weird or strange to some of you but it is medically proven so make sure you are good you know you are awake you are you have eaten something because competitive sports are not easy it takes a lot of toll on your brain so make sure you eat something have plenty of water have a i always have a bottle of water with me every time and i always keep drinking in between so that i'm not tired i don't feel tired or i don't feel uh, you know lazy so you need to have your stomach full eat eat well we are humans we need we need food so make sure you do that and uh, apart from that yeah make sure you are in a playable state you know because don't just play after you wake up or after you have done some very tiring work or something take time relax make sure your body is ready enough to focus you know, your brain is ready enough to you know focus and kill those enemies on the battlefield okay this one is really important because even i do the mistake sometimes getting tilted you know the 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 anger the teammates are bad you are playing bad the map is bad oh my god ice box okay i can understand being tilted is one of the most severe problems uh, esports or competitive players face especially in games like league of legends or any other competitive games you know because sometimes things don't go your way the way you're thinking the way you want your teammates to play doesn't work out that well well the only solution is do not play when you're tilted there's no other solution to that on top of that if someone is roasting you during the game you cannot leave the game obviously please mute please definitely the, the games have the option of muting the enemy chat or if someone in your team is trying to roast you or do saying bad things mute them see do not let the bad things control your brain your focus should be primarily on finishing the game with your best performance and being tilted will always bother it you know it will always cause the issues to happen a lot so do not play the game when tilted suppose you lost a game very bad like 0-13 you know we always lose those games you know and do not start on the game it will you will be in the motion where you just want to kill someone without even thinking you know all blunts uh, guns blazing you know pressing w and going in that won't help you at all so do not play when you're tilted uh, especially in games for valorant because where each minute second of corner peeking or anything requires concentration at 100% you need to be at your max best and tilted won't help you so take a chill pill drink some water ch- uh, go out for a walk and then play and show your best 
Okay, so the fourth thing is having a good enough PC to work or play on because um, sometimes you might be really good, okay? You might be really good at your aim, but you have a potato PC. I'm not asking you to, you know, straight away upgrade your PC, but know your limits. Know where you stand. If you have a bad PC where your game starts to stutter and in comparative scenes, every single frame i'm not talking about the gameplay i'm talking about every single frame counts you might be thinking that guy just give me a running headshot but you don't know you you were lagging your game was stuttering and at that particular moment he killed you so make sure your pc is minimum enough you know minimum enough without lag with lower settings possible if if the lowest setting is also causing your pc to stutter i think you should not play uh, competitive games because they require your pc to run at your best even at low settings so that you can play as smooth as possible you know you should have a minimum bar of 30 fps i mean in fps games you need as much fps you want but it should be smooth any kind of minor stutter or lag will destroy your gameplay at that very moment so make sure your pc is good enough and yeah i mean it would put your teammates to you know problem as well because you are lagging or something like that so make sure you have good enough pc and if you do not have a good enough pc well uh, you can play unrated you know to just understand the game but do not play competitive if your pc is not good enough so what i was saying is okay i wasn't uh I, my video didn't glitch out i just post like that because that is bad internet <laughs> so uh, basically do not play when you have bad internet you know when you are in the lobby you can see that um, green bars over there or whatever game you're playing where it shows your ping make sure your internet is good dude internet is everything if you have a bad internet do not play seriously because one you will miss your shots you know server and client lag and third sorry second um, you're putting your teammates to know bad state because they have to struggle with you you do you do not want to be the guy causing the loss to your uh, games and your teammates you know you don't want that bad name if your internet is bad say them right away you know i have, I have played with some people those who are saying that i can play at 60 plus ping i can play at 80 plus ping yeah you can but you won't be at your best you know you need to make sure you don't do that so that uh, your team you, you can check your isp you can check you can restart your router uh, if your ping is bad but do not play in bad ping it's it's straight as that and if you see someone with a bad ping immediately kick them if they are not accepting their ping is bad because you know uh, we all know like uh, you miss a shot and you see you press tab and check that their ping is like six or seven you know that lower pings means better gameplay that's it's straight as that so make sure you uh, have a better internet and finally the most important part you might be good in solo queue sometimes solo queue can be harsh random players are really bad but there are always better chances to win a game when you have good teammates so if you're struggling in solo queue and uh, i would suggest you find some friends i have my discord server there are a lot of Dis uh, valorant players over there you can come and find them but do not walk alone you know there are, there's always better chance to find players you just need to be active and ask around forums or Facebook groups or Discord servers to find players, you know. You know, those who are struggling themselves, you know, party up and plan together and play. Because games like Valorant, Apex Legends or any other competitive games out there, they are not meant to be played alone. You know, these are team games. You are not one-man army. You cannot just ace every round, you know. You cannot. I mean, you might ace every round, but that would be like you are playing in RN Lobby. No offense. So... Yeah, that's correct. You need to find good teammates and um, do not hesitate to ask people because even they are waiting for someone to be, you know, they want someone to come and ask them, can you play with me? And they will be always ready. Like, generally people ask me, do you want to play? And I am really happy to play with them given that I have the time to play. So make sure you get good teammates because with good teammates, you definitely win big matches. So that's it from me. These are the few points you need to make sure you keep in mind when before playing competitive games because this the games are getting even tougher nowadays. People are practicing day and night and they want to do their best. But these certain points you need to keep in mind before entering the battlefield. So this is Excalibur and these are the top things you need to keep in mind before playing competitive games. And uh, well, 
uh, all the best from my side to all of you those who are having exams right now make sure you pass them as well and keep those things in mind before writing exams as well because it might help you so excali signing off take care peace